What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Office Hours where I answer your baseball questions here in my office. And today's question comes from Token and he says, I subscribed a while back. I watched your videos with my son. I have a question. My son played for the JV team in high school this past year. He never played it before, but he seemed to pick it up pretty quickly. The coach, the coach notices that he had velocity on his throws warming up, so he made my son a pitcher. What I notice is that the velocity he has warming up does not transfer when he's on the mound. Is it as simple as pitching the way that you are warming up? He's had four different coaches tell him four different things. Right now, he looks like he's trying to pitch perfectly, and in doing so, his delivery is slow as well as his fastball. The only thing he has confidence in throwing is the curve. Any help would be appreciated. Okay, so first of all, to address the, the one of the first things you said is he's got four different coaches telling him four different things. That's going to happen for the rest of his career as long as he plays. You probably in a, in a in a typical career for a guy who goes through lip from t-ball all the way to college is probably going to have a hundred different coaches, right? From the head coach to the assistant coaches, to from every different year, from every different season, from uh, mom, dad, relatives, friends that help. So you're going to have over a hundred different coaches. Guess what? A lot of them going to be saying different things, giving you different advice. So your job as a player. And I wish I learned this earlier in my career, but your job as the player is to listen to everybody, decide what makes sense to you, try it, keep what works, and get rid of what doesn't works. work. Because again, you're gonna have a lot of guys telling you different things, but at the end of the day, you're the guy on the mound, right? So at the end of the day, when your son's out there pitching on the mound, he can't be listening to four different guys trying to do that during the game. He's gotta know what works for him have that confidence and conviction in what works and then go and do it, right? So that's something I wish I learned a lot earlier in my career was not to try to listen to everything, everyone, and try to fix something every time someone said something because then you just keep tweaking things that don't need to be, no, don't need to be tweaked a lot of the times. And then you, get, you just get all messed up that way. So, so know what you're trying to do, try everything out, keep what makes sense and works, get rid of everything else because at the end of the day you're the guy on the mound now as far as my advice to you here's another coach telling you what you should do again take what you can from this keep what works get rid of the rest but my advice to you or to your son is to throw just like you're throwing when you're warming up I was a max effort guy meaning when I was on the mound I threw the ball as hard as I absolutely could right there was no finesse to it so I was trying to throw the ball just as if I was taking a crow hop and trying to throw it over the fence. The only different what difference was, was I was on the rubber, so I couldn't take that crow hop. So I had to generate as much energy as I could, drive off that mound, and then let that sucker fly, okay? Now, a good analogy I like to use as far as uh, pitching control goes is, because a lot of guys like to slow it down, right? Slow down and have good control. Think about riding a bicycle, right? If you take your hands off the bicycle, and you start to go too slow, what's gonna happen? You're gonna fall, the handlebar is gonna go crazy and crash, right? So you can't. You don't wanna go too slow. In fact, in my, in my personal experience, uh, I just threw as hard as I could, and then I try to become consistent in throwing as hard as I could. So my, my consistency or my control came with always throwing as hard as I could, because that's how I practiced. I always threw as hard as I could, or pitched as hard as I could, and then over time, I became uh, better with my control at throwing as hard as I could. So it's it, again, it goes back to having that confidence and conviction in what you're doing. If you're second guessing yourself, where you're saying, I'm not sure if I can throw a strike here, and you're trying to slow it down to throw it, you're not gonna have as much success. Maybe you'll get better with your control, but you're gonna be sacrificing a lot of velocity because of it, okay? It's, it's a, the difference between pitching scared or let me, let me say it this way. It's the difference between pitching to not fail versus pitching to have success, if that makes sense. When you're slowing things down to try to throw a strike, you're pitching to not fail. You're pitching to not throw a ball, right? Versus going, here it comes, sucker. I'm gonna let this thing fly as fast as I can. And if I throw a strike or I don't throw a strike, I'm trying to throw a strike, but Whatever happens, happens. The next pitch, I'm still gonna throw it as fast as I can, and you're gonna try to have to hit it. You know, you're gonna try to have to hit that ball because I'm not backing down. So that's the difference. That's trying to, that's pitching to have success versus pitching not to fail. I hope that makes sense. I, uh, I feel like I'm mumbling over my words today, but 
Uh, it's just because it's something that I'm so passionate about. And I've been there, you know, I, I've been there. The more, it, it really all boils down to one thing, confidence and conviction. You know, having the confidence to get on the mound and throw that baseball as fast as you can and try to strike those guys out. If you can do that and you have that full confidence and conviction, you're gonna be a lot better uh, pitcher. You know, you're gonna be throwing at the higher velocity to your capabilities. Um, and then over time, you're gonna get better with your control anyway. So just trust in that, trust in the process and go out there and ball out. I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. Um, again, I'm just another coach adding to all the advice that you're getting. So you gotta sift through this as well. Take what you like from it chuck the rest of it out of the way because guess what uh this weekend when you're out there pitching i ain't gonna be out there you are right none of your other coaches aren't either dad you're not gonna be out there son you're the one on the mound so go out there believe in yourself know that you can do it dominate throw that ball as fast as you can hope you guys like this one don't forget to subscribe click the logo right here because i got some more good stuff coming uh, and then go check these out. I've got some more good pitching stuff for you. If you haven't checked them out, uh, these videos are good ones. Hop down in the comments below. Let me know uh, what you guys do. If you guys struggle with velocity versus control, pitching velocity and pitching control, and how you tie it all together to be the best pitcher that you can be. Hop down in the comments. Let me know.